What up boys, it's Gaz, and welcome to the Warframe video. So we're doing another build video today, and another discussion on a weapon. So today we're going over the... The Cortage, I think that's how you say it. It is the Arcwing Flamethrower that came with the Necromex, and Heart of Demos, and all that stuff. And unfortunately, it's really, really not that good. It's super sad to say that, because this thing is awesome looking. And awesome sounding and the idea of it is also super awesome but the actual stats and gameplay of it are not super awesome unfortunately so let's quickly show how you get this thing so you basically need to go to the necromax syndicate uh, Lloyd on Demos and you need to get a high enough rank to buy the parts in the first place and then you need to build the parts which are going to take rare gems uh, minerals and some other stuff too, like I believe one of them takes Fortuna fish parts randomly. Uh, the other one takes Hexanon, which comes from Jupiter. Uh, and then what's the other one take? Some some alloy from from Plains of Eidolon. So, you got your work cut out for you when you're building this thing. Um, and like everything's said and done, it's, you have to actually, you have to build the parts for this, which take uh, I think four hours to build the parts. And then you also build the actual weapon once you have it all put together. And that's about 16 hours of waiting period um so yeah what do you get for all that time you get it kind of looks like Jotun from from destiny but it's a toaster on a stick pretty much a toaster on a stick that's supposed to be a flamethrower but it shoots like a explosive laser kind of and once you kill five enemies with the explosive laser let's quickly just do that you have to kill five enemies and it'll charge up this little meter in the middle now that we've killed quite a few of them, we can release the explosion shot. Which does pretty good damage, I guess. It also leaves a fire trail on the ground. As you see, like they, if they walk into the fire trail, it takes some damage. And since they're little baby butchers, they die to the fire damage. So, yeah, pretty good there, I guess. But those are like the weakest enemies we can possibly spawn. Um... So yeah, this thing is going to... Let's link the stats so we can take a look at why this thing is not as good as it should be, probably. Uh, especially for all that work. Because like, there's lots of rare gems and stuff you need for this thing. Unfortunately, that is the that is the Arcwing version of the weapon. We're going to need to actually go into the arsenal to see the on-the-ground stats. Alright, so let's take off all the mods. Because, you know, this, just, this UI is not allowed to be convenient. Let's do the no mods build right here. And here are the base stats. So, we've got the held fire mode, which is going to be the laser beam. It has 20% crit chance and a 1.9 multiplier. So, pretty low crit stats right there. 12 fire rate, 100 round magazine. So, that those stats are fine, I suppose. Uh, 2.5 second reload and 40% status. 2.5 second reload, it's supposed to be a heavy weapon. As you can see, it's in the heavy weapon section. So, I can understand a slower reload for a heavy weapon. Pretty high status chance at 40%. So, that is also pretty nice. Then you look at how much damage this thing deals. On the beam, 90 damage for a heavy weapon. Let's go see how much the Ignis Wraith deals, which is not a heavy weapon, by the way. The Ignis Wraith deals 35. So it's about, like, double the triple, almost triple the damage of the Ignis Wraith. A primary weapon that has a better crit multiplier, by the way. So it basically deals... Damage comparable to the Ignis Wraith, is, and it's a heavy weapon. Take a look at the uh, the grenade launcher shot. It's going to have 30% crit chance and 2.4 multiplier with extremely low fire rate. A funny thing with this weapon is you actually will fire off the grenade launcher and you will get stuck. You cannot fire the gun because the game's trying to still acknowledge the fact you just fire the grenade launcher. So there's lots of just being stuck or sitting around doing nothing with the uh, grenade launcher on this weapon. And then it fires off three grenades, so three multi-shot. It will also take one bullet out of your magazine when you fire the charged up gr grenade launcher. And it does about 1,000 damage per shot. All right. So let's quickly show the build. Now, like I said, this thing has, like, it's comparable to the Ignis Wraith, as sad as that sounds. Uh, but it has much weaker mods than the Ignis Wraith. Because as you can see right here, uh, the multi-shot mod for the, the Arcwing guns is 60%. And for primaries, we have, I think, 90%. I believe it's 90%. And there's also Vigilante Armaments, which give you 60% more. So we've got, that's our multi-shot mod. 
We've got Prime Rubido Line Barrel, thankfully. This is pretty much a serration, a little bit weaker than serration, but you know. They're trying. Uh, Parallax Scope is weaker than Point Strike. <laughs> Hollowed Bullets, I think, is a little bit weaker than uh, Vital Sense. And then at least we got good 60-60 mods now. We've got Hypothermic Shell and Contamination Case and giving us Viral and Heat because this thing has innate heat damage. We've also got Critical Focus. Increased critical chance and damage while aiming. This will not work while you're firing the grenade launcher, but it's good for the, the primary shot. And then since Arcwing Gun, our heavy weapons do have an ammo issue most of the time, I threw on Ammo Chain just because I didn't feel like this thing was really worth putting any more Forma on, to be honest. Um, I think one Forma it will do. On, I have a Riven for this thing too, but as you can see right here, the Riven stats are really cringe because it's a .5 disposition weapon, which means one dot, as you can see right here. Hopefully someday they'll buff the Rivens because this thing is kind of crappy, honestly. So either they should buff the weapon or buff the Rivens or both. I'd, I'd prefer both because, yeah, it's basically mastery fodder. A toaster on a stick is all this thing has going for it. But yeah, let's just quickly show uh, how this build works on some actually armored enemies here. With our viral and heat. You could run corrosive heat if you wanted to. You could run radiation if you wanted to. Or, or you could just not even, you just level this thing up for mastery fodder and not use it ever again. Which is I would, what I would recommend to you. Um, I will definitely mention if they, uh, they buff it, I'll definitely mention if they buff it in a future video, but at this, at this current moment, no, I'm going to put on invincibility as well. I believe I actually have Arcan Avenger on, so it might be some more crit chance than it's supposed to have, but whatever. Maybe it'll make it look actually good, huh? All right. So that's basically, see, like there's no Hunter Renitions, obviously. We've stacked up quite a few heat procs on them. And there you go. Like, she's fully viral procced. I think the mod slot would probably kill them in, like, four bullets. <laughs> and this is, like, a, a build with all the mod slots filled out. Um, is there any more enemies left? Let's use the grenade launcher, see how that goes. Okay. So she's staying in the fire. And she's CC'd. Okay. So, I mean, that didn't look too terrible, I suppose. Um, and it's, like, not everything is supposed to be against level 175... Uh, enemies so let's knock them down to level 50 and see what happens will they insta die that is the question i think does have a limit uh by the way the beam radius on this is going to be 28 meters let's show that really quickly here so she's 13 meters still hitting them from over here so it has relatively okay range i suppose 27 but like the thing is you're using a heavy i think heavy weapons in general should just get buffed across the board personally and, and see, I'm, I'm pushing the fire button right now. After I fire the grenade launcher, I literally can't fire for so long. Let's show exactly what I mean here. I'm going to kill all these enemies really quickly. Uh, we'll just we'll blob them up with Nidus Larva. All right. Easy mode. I'm going to fire out the grenade. Now I'm pushing, I'm pushing the fire button right now. It won't fire. It finally let me fire after pushing. Like That was, that was probably a good three, four seconds. Before I could fire the gun again. So, yeah, that was really, really annoying. Um, they definitely need to fix that up. I believe it's because of the extremely low fire rate that the secondary uh, shot has. But as you can see, like, the reload animation looks really nice. It's got, like, this little ring thing on it that f goes forward and falls backwards. And let's show some Steel Path gameplay. Because, like I said, I don't think you should really waste time on this. I'd say, if you really... If you're like, oh man, I am MR28.999... I need one more weapon, and I just don't want to. I just don't want to grind out K drive rep right now. Just get this. There you go. You don't have to do K drives. You can get this instead. And it's mastery fighter. Um, Mazlon definitely dumpsters this thing. Uh, it it's too bad. Like I don't, I don't know why they had to make every weapon from D uh, Dimos have some annoying little gimmick to it. Um, now to be fair, maybe it's a bug. The fact that you get locked out of actually firing the gun for a good couple of seconds with this thing. Um, but, you know, that, even after they fix that, like I said, it has really l low base damage compared to the Ignis Wraith. Um, if it's supposed to be a heavy version of the Ignis Wraith, it, it, gets, it definitely gets held back by the fact that the, the Arcwing mods kind of suck. So I'm going to use the Ignis Wraith here. Now, I, to be fair, I do have an Ignis Wraith ribbon. Um, we're going to do a Viral Heat build as well. No uh, Hunter Munitions. Okay, so as you can see, like, the Steel Path, it's definitely not doing too phenomenal. I believe this is with my Riven as well. Like, trust me, the Riven is not really going to be doing this thing much favors with those .5 Dispo stats. 
All right, I'm gonna do. A, we'll do it. Yeah, we can do a quick side by side comparison: the Ignis Wraith with a Riven, and I'll do the Cortage with a Riven. To be fair, the Cortage is missing one mod slot because I'm not forming it again. Uh, because you know, form is about to be more of a commodity with with Plague Star being removed, or rather, not coming back immediately. I ain't trying to fear monger. All right, don't you don't you put that on me. Um, all right, so we've got the Ignis Wraith with the full build, dealing about 495. Uh, Viral and heat damage with a 7.2 multiplier with our uh, critical damage and toxin ribbon. With pretty good fire rate too with Vile Acceleration. As you can see, these mods are just better. Well, you know what? I, I guess Primed uh, Rubita Line Barrel is a little bit stronger than Serration technically. But Vital Sense is definitely a lot stronger than the crit damage mod. So 495 total damage. Then we've got uh, 1094 damage. So about double the damage. All right. But definitely a lower lower crit multiplier. Let's see how fast the Ignis Wraith kills them. Okay. Missed that guy over there. And they melt really quickly. So, similar situation. I have a damage multi-shot cold driven for the Cortage. With no negative, to be fair. Alright, gonna spawn them in. I'm gonna do the same thing, just gonna blob them up with Nidus. Make sure we hit all of them this time. And it's basically just an Ignis Wraith. <laughs> it's an Ignis Wraith that makes you run around slower, locks you out of firing when you fire the grenade launcher, and is a really, really annoying thing to get. So, <laughs> have I convinced you it's not worth the Forma yet? Have I? Well, did I also mention that a bunch of that ore to build this thing requires you to get Pyrol from Plains of Eidolon? Because I really don't like farming Pyrol one bit. <laughs> So they've made this stuff a lot more annoying nowadays to get. So, you know what? I'd say pass on it. If you're, if you're, D, hey, D, if you're watching this, you better buff the crap out of this thing to make anyone want to get this. Because I regretted building this afterwards. I regretted buying a ribbon. I regretted rolling a ribbon. There's nothing about this thing I didn't regret. Besides uh, the fact it looks cool. I, I like the way it looks. I like the sound effects it makes. So, either way, guys, hope you had fun watching this video and hearing me complain as usual. I'll talk to you tomorrow in another video, and there will be lots of streams and videos upcoming. So, take it easy, guys. Peace.